The first type, al khiyar and majlis choice to cancel before departing. The Prophet ﷺ said if two men conduct a sale, each one of them has a right of choice, i.e. to continue or cancel the transaction, as long as they have not parted from one another. If one of them give the other the right to choose, therefore if one of them gives the other the right to choose, they both conclude the sale and neither abandons the transaction. Then it becomes binding, agreed upon. The second type of al khiyar is shart choice to cancel based on condition. If the right to choose has been stipulated for one or both of the contracting parties for a known time period, the Prophet ﷺ said in a manner which Muslims are bound by their conditions, except for the conditions that make the permissible impermissible or make the impermissible permissible, narrated by the authors of the Sunnah. The third type, if one of the parties has been deceived above and beyond the norm, such as in the case of a majlis going out to meet the merchandise beforehand, etc. The fourth type, al khiyar al whereby the seller deceives the buyer in a way that raises the price of the merchandise, for example, leaving the milk to collect in an animal's udder. The Prophet wasallam said in a meaning of which animals are cheap on milk for a long time. Whoever purchases a a such an animal has the option to milk it and after keep, or keep it and return it to the seller along with a saw update. In another wording, he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has the right to choose for three days. The fifth type, if one purchases something defective without knowing about the defect, then he has the choice between returning it or keeping it. If he is unable to return it, however, then he is entitled to receive al arsh compensation for it, which is the difference between the price of the intact and the defective product. The sixth type, if the two differ over the price, then they both must swear an oath, with the seller going first, after which they both have an option to cancel the transaction. al ikhala cancellation of the contract that took place between two parties, with agreement and consent from both sides. The Prophet ﷺ said in the meaning of which, whoever takes back, cancels a transaction he made with a Muslim, Allah will forgive his fault. Narrated by Abi Dawood and Ibn Majah.